Let's talk about Brampton Student Transit and the opportunity to engage our young people. We are a big city, almost as big in population to the city of Vancouver. We are not a sleeping suburb. We can set goals that maybe even the rest of Canada will follow. Here's our big goal, free student transit. Think about this. As a city and region, we already provide free services, or at least services which don't have an additional user fee. For example, our fire services, road construction, policing, recreational programs, snow removal, and many more. We accept these as free. So why not student transit? Especially as our roads are congested and we need to get more of us transitioning to active transportation and public transit. Who better to get engaged than young people? And we wouldn't be the first. Toronto City Council will be deciding on free transit for students aged 12 and under. The City of Kingston already provides free transit for grade 9 and 10 students and recently extended it to grade 11. Not to mention that public transit is often negotiated between universities in their cities. Students at McMaster University, for example, get a transit pass for a small added fee to their tuition. University of Waterloo has a similar program and closer to home UTM students can use their U-Pass on Mississauga's MyWay. We are not inventing the wheel here. Why is free student transit needed? Don't school boards already get our kids to school? They do for some, but not for most. We haven't been able to get good data on how many students are eligible for school board funded transportation in Brampton. But in high school, the province and school boards support regional and specialist high skills major programs like French Immersion, International Baccalaureate, Transportation Manufacturing and Hospitality. These programs have no transportation accommodation for students. There's definitely a big gap here and an opportunity to connect students to programs they have a passion for, including co-op, volunteer work, after school, and sports programs. Let's delve a bit deeper into our city's transit data. Based on Brampton Transit's website, the average number of weekday trips is over 76,000 per day. Assuming two trips per day per person, this means that we have about 38,000 riders in the system. Based on our population stats from 2011, this translates to about 7% of residents. 7% is nowhere good enough. This number is over 40% in some parts of Toronto. So we have a far way to go to mobilize our residents onto public transit. Let's look at student ridership, specifically the 30,000 or so high school students across the two major boards in Brampton. Based on limited data, we estimate that about 3,500 high school students use Brampton Transit for their school transportation, or about 12%. Many others get dropped off by mom or dad. Visit any school before and after the school bell and you'll see that more and more parents are driving their kids to school. An active transportation plan that includes walking, biking and busing will reverse this unnecessary trend. Then there's the issue of equity. At $2.50 per student trip, do the math and that's $940 a year or over $3,700 for four years of high school just to get to school. That's money that many taxpaying families cannot afford. So here's our solution. We understand the financial limitations the city is under. Let's look at the 2014 Brampton Transit budget for a moment. About $48 million in tax revenue is already used to subsidize our transit system, or about 15% of the city budget. Let's be upfront. If we provide free transit for current students, the loss of revenue could be as high as $3.5 million. Let's put that into context. The new city hall expansion is costing us $200 million over 25 years. We know this is not a good apples to apples comparison, but it all comes from the taxpayer. Which do you think they'd rather fund, students or a government building? But three and a half million dollars a year is still a lot. How do we recover? First, we need a plan to increase ridership and utilization. We'd argue that many students travel in off-peak hours and increase utilization of the system. Second, look for efficiencies. 15% of our city taxes are going to provide transit for 7% of our residents. We need to do more with current resources. Third, get sponsors specifically for student transit. Fourth, work with developers to design in active transportation for new developments. And fifth, showcase our student transit solution as a case study to the province on alternative models for student transportation and how we should fund it. Let's be practical for this year. We'll be communicating with residents to get their input at bramptonfocus.ca slash transit. Here's what we'd like City Council to look at for the 2015 budget. Pilot a free student transit program for Brampton High School students. Restrict time of use to say 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays during the school year, although 24-7, 365 access would be much better. And third, share the pilot data publicly so that we can determine the implications of a citywide implementation. Let's set a big goal for Brampton, free student transit.